guys welcome back to my channel this is Isha and I hope you all are staying good at your home staying happy and staying safe at your home so yeah let's get started what we have seen yesterday so starting with a little quote that grow through what you go through I hope you all are understanding what I mean to say here so in the yesterday's video in the previous video we have seen about what is a cell so cell is a fundamental structural and functional unit of life then we saw about few scientists what they have discovered in which of the years I have told you it is very very important to mention and we have seen two types of cells that is unicellular and multicellular organisms with their examples unicellular organisms are those which have a single celled organisms are called unicellular organisms multicellular with multiple things multiple cells in them and also we have seen a cell theory and also shape and size of the cell so it is a quick review of what we are going to see today so we'll see today what is cell made up of and also about the structural organizations and each cell organ we are going to see in very briefly and in a very simple way and also we are going to see difference between osmosis and diffusion so yeah let's get started what is cell made up of if we see or if we study a cell under a microscope there are three main features which almost every cell consists we can see in it it for the first one is cell membrane which is the outer covering second is the nucleus which is inside the cell and cytoplasm this is also inside a cell so these are the three main uh, features or components we can say in the cell which we can see from a microscope now these are only the features by which all the activities jo cell ke andar or cell ke bahar jo activities ho rahi hai ya fir interactions ho raha hai this is possible by these three features so yeah the picture which you are seeing on the screen is a little uh, basic Fun, uh, picture of a cell you can see a nucleus mitochondria vacuole chloroplast cell membrane cell wall cytoplasm ribosomes yeah what is a cell membrane now let's start with the cell membrane cell membrane is also called a plasma membrane selectively permeable membrane so these are three main words you have to remember plasma membrane cell membrane selectively permeable membrane these all are the same now it is a outermost covering of a cell in the main i have written it in bold i have mentioned outermost covering of a cell it separates the contents of a cell from its external environment i also it allows and permits the entry and exit of some materials in and out of the cell जो प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन है वो कुछ मटेरियल्स के या फिर कुछ सब्सटेंस के एंट्री एंड एग्जिट को अलाउ करता है इट आल्सो प्रिवेंट्स सम अदर मटेरियल्स लाइक वाटर एंड ऑक्सीजन इट कैन मूव फ्रीली अदरवाइज द सब्सटेंसेस और द मटेरियल्स लाइक प्रोटीन एंड डीएनए दे कांट मूव इजीली एज दे आर वेरी लार्ज so cell membrane is also called a selectively permeable membrane now how does this movement of substances takes place in the cell so there are some substances like carbon dioxide and oxygen jo move karte hai cell membrane ke andar bahar so this process is known as diffusion now looking at the definition it is a spontaneous movement spontaneous in the sense very sudden change or sudden movement sudden movement of any substance it is a spontaneous movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to a region where its concentration is very low jahan pe concentration bahut kam hota hai or you can say the definition in a very simple way that movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration now see let's see how it works substance like co2 now carbon dioxide it is a cellular waste of a cell which has to be excreted out 
so as co2 is accumulated inside a cell in a very very high concentration and as compared to the external environment external environment mein concentration of co2 is very low so as to stabilize to ek stable hone ke liye so the movement of substances occurs from high concentration to low concentration so as soon as there is a difference of concentration in oxygen carbon dioxide inside and outside a cell carbon dioxide moves out of the cell from a region of high concentration to a low concentration outside the cell now this process is known as diffusion same thing happens with the oxygen as enters the cell by the process of diffusion when level of concentration of oxygen inside a cell decreases जब सेल के अंदर का सेल के अंदर जब कॉन्सेंट्रेशन लो होता है ऑक्सीजन का तब डिफ्यूजन टेक्स प्लेस करता है नो दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल डिफ्यूजन प्लेज एन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द गैसियस गैशियस एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द सेल्स एज वेल एज द सेल एंड इट्स एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट ओके सो इट इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट no water also obeys the law of diffusion but the movement of water molecules through which a selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis now here the movement of water molecules through such a through such a selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis now the movement of water across the plasma membrane is also affected by some of the or by the amount of substance dissolved in water this also occurs so now what is osmosis it is a passage of water from a region of high water concentration to a selectively permeable membrane to a equilibrium is reached now what this means now passage of water from a region of high concentration this also moves from a high concentration to a low concentration but through a selectively permeable membrane cell membrane is also known as selectively permeable membrane as mentioned earlier so to equilibrium to reach that equal it is needed so osmosis is also performed so what is osmosis it is the passage of water from a region of high water concentration through a selectively permeable membrane to a equilibrium is reached okay the first picture which you are seeing here is about diffusion and even the second one is of a diffusion but little bit of difference i could say so in the first picture you can see the solute the green dots or the green small small circles which you are seeing are the substances are the materials you can say these are the solute it is it is much more on the it is very high on the concentration on the left side on on the right side it's very very low concentration so it is moving from the area of high concentration to the area of low concentration this is a process known as diffusion the second is the same before diffusion it is shown and after diffusion after diffusion it is stabilized before diffusion it was not stabilized so it has to move from outer region to inner region okay now here you can see two more pictures that the first one is hypotonic solution isotonic solution and hypertonic solution now we'll go through this what does it mean lekin aapko yahan par arrow se hi pata chal raha hoga ki hypotonic more of the uh, water is going inside and it is getting burst out then in isotonic it is normal water is coming out and water is going out and in hypertonic solution there is no water inside so that is why it has shrinked and the water concentration is moving out now yeah let's see it this is the osmosis and plant cells now let's see what is this now example now in ncrt we have there there is a example of an animal cell or a, or a plant cell which is mm, dipped into a solution of a sugar or a salt in a water so one of the three things will happen one of the three things will happen three things what are those hypotonic solution isotonic solution or hypertonic solution now let's see what is hypotonic solution if the medium 
surrounding the cell has higher concentration than the cell meaning that the outside solution is very dilute the cell will gain water by osmosis such a solution is known as hypotonic solution now the here the water molecules are free to pass across the cell membrane in both directions but more water will come into the cell than will leave the net result is that water enters the cell the cell is likely to swell up so the thing is here what is hypotonic solution the concentration of uh, water is uh, high outside the cell meaning that the outside solution is very dilute the cell will gain water through osmosis so as it gains a lot of water from its surrounding so it gets burst out so it is known as hypotonic solution next comes is the isotonic solution now if the medium has exactly the same water concentration as the cell thereby normal or there thereby movement of water across the cell membrane now this such a solution is called as isotonic solution now water across the cell membrane in both directions but the amount going is the same as the amount going outside the same outside so there is no overall movement of water the cell wall stays the same size next is uh, hypertonic solution now if the medium has lower concentration of water than the cell meaning that it is very Mm, very less concent very concentrated solution the cell will lose water by osmosis now in this uh, in this case now this situation this solution is called hypotonic solution now water across the cell membrane in both directions but this time more water will leave the cell than entering it so in this case the cell will shrink automatically so thus osmosis is a special case of diffusion through a selectively permeable membrane so few more examples like osmosis with egg with dried raisins or apricots right as you can i'll give you raisins example as if you are pouring few raisins putting in bowl overnight you can see it it will swell up right it will swell up if they are normal if you don't keep them in a water they will shrink but if there is a normal level that is known as isotonic so yeah as it is mentioned in page number 60 ncert now the main one what is the difference between diffusion and osmosis let us take just read it out once take a pause and read what this means i hope you have read it so yeah i'll explain you diffusion it takes place in all the media in all the media in the case here the media is gaseous exchange or a liquid exchange but osmosis it occurs only in liquid medium okay the first point is it takes place in all media media in the sense in air matlab gaseous exchange liquid solid everything but in osmosis it occurs only in liquid medium the second point is the definition the diffusion it is the movement of atoms or molecules or substances from the area of high concentration to the area of its low concentration now the osmosis it is a movement of water through the area of its high concentration to the low area of low concentration through selectively permeable membrane i forgot to mention here but yeah selectively permeable membrane to equilibrium inside it okay so the third point is it does not require a semi permeable membrane in diffusion and it requires a semi permeable membrane in osmosis now in diffusion molecules may diffuse in any direction the diffusion of molecules occurs in any direction in diffusion but in osmosis it 
फ्लू ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल अकर्स इन ओनली वन डायरेक्शन सिर्फ एक ही डायरेक्शन में होता है नेक्स्ट पॉइंट डिफ्यूजन इज फास्टर दैन ऑस्मोसिस डिफ्यूजन अकर्स फास्टर दैन ऑस्मोसिस एंड इन ऑस्मोसिस इज रिलेटिवली स्लोअर दैन डिफ्यूजन डिफ्यूजन इट मे डिसअपियर डिस्पर्स मॉलिक्यूल्स ओवर अ वेरी लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस इट मे मूव बट इन ऑस्मोसिस इट जनरली अकर्स टू अ वेरी शॉर्ट डिस्टेंस I hope these differences are clear to you, and it's very written in a very very simple way. So please make sure that you read it and do write it once, so that it will be in your mind. You can remember while writing an exam. So what are the importance of osmosis? Unicellular freshwater organisms and most plant cells tend to gain water through osmosis. Now, what is unicellular? Unicellular are the single-celled organisms, freshwater organisms, you can say. And most of the plants they gain water through osmosis. This is one of the important. And absorption of water by plant roots is an example of osmosis. जो roots होते हैं, it absorb the water. Absorption of water by plant roots. Okay. next is diffusion is important in exchange of gases and water in the life of a cell it is very very important exchange of gases and water in the life of cell diffusion is very important now cell contains nutrition from its environment cell ke aas paas ka jo environment hai it has the nutrients which it contains now we can observe the structure of a plasma membrane only through an electron microscope we can't see from our naked eyes we can only see through an electron microscope the structure of a cell membrane now the plasma membrane is flexible now these are few characteristics or few functions you can say the plasma membrane is flexible and it is made up of organic molecules like lipids and proteins okay next is plasma membrane is a semi permeable or selectively permeable membrane which regulates the exchange of materials between the cytoplasm and the extracellular fluid now this i think is a external point which i have taken so just to know just to have a look what is it semi permeable membrane it is a semi permeable you know as it is or you can say selectively permeable membrane which regulates the exchange of materials between the cytoplasm cytoplasm present in cell cytoplasm and extracellular fluid plasma membrane also forms a mechanical barrier to protect various protoplasmic structures jo protoplasmic structures hote hai unke liye ek protection ek mechanical barrier it forms so the plasma membrane performs the same function in plant and same as well as in the animal cells now the transportation of molecules across the cell mem plasma membrane or cell membrane is done by three ways that is diffusion osmosis and endosmosis so diffusion osmosis and endosmosis these are the transportation moving from inside to outside outside to inside so these are the transportation of molecules which is moving through cell membrane plasma membrane so the first is diffusion second is osmosis and the third is endosmosis now the flexibility of a cell membrane also in enables the cells to engulf in food and other material from its external environment food ko engulf karne ke liye cell membrane is flexible so that it can engulf the food and other materials from the environment now this process is known as endocytosis such process is known as endocytosis example amoeba acquires its food through such process amoeba jo apna food engulf karta hai this process is known as endocytosis what is endocytosis it is the flexibility of a cell membrane that also enables the cell to engulf in food and other materials from its 
external environment this process is known as endocytosis and the example is amoeba this you have to remember now here you can see the structure of a cell membrane outside cell inside cell proteins transport protein so this is little bit a uh, different so yeah so for today i think this is enough humne dekh liya ki kya kya hota hai diffusion osmosis the definitions the differences what are the functions and the characteristics of plasma membrane cell membrane the rest all the things what are cell cell wall made up of and all such things now in the next lecture we will see a more about cell wall nucleus cytoplasm cell organelles like er that is endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosomes mitochondria and plastids so yeah thank you so much for paying attention and if you have not understood anything please do mention in a comment section i'll let you know i'll give you the answers or you can ask me questions to my insta channel insta page you can ask questions even there so yeah thank you